man. Okay. Our next story is actually somebody who y'all all know, I'm sure. Very popular. She's actually, um, I do believe she is the most successful. The most successful um, woman in mutant um, rap music history, I believe so. Unfortunately for her, her father was involved in the hit and run. So I know that she, I know she going through it right now. Um, rest in peace, Robert Minaj. He did die from this incident. Um, the father of hip hop star, Nicki Minaj died Saturday after he was struck by a hit and run driver the night before. Robert Minaj, 64, was walking in Manola on Long Island when he was hit by an, un- by an unidentified car at about 16, 15 p.m. Nassau County Police said the car fled, police said. Minaj was taken to a hospital in critical condition after the incident. According to TMZ, the car fled too quickly for witnesses to provide a good description. Nicki Minaj, known for such hits as Super Bass and Starships, has not publicly commented. The 38-year-old rapper was born in St. James, Trinidad, and later moved to New York, where she attended uh, Farello H. LaGuardia High School of Music and Art and Performing Arts. Robert and Carol Minaj, Nicki's mother, has been separated for some time after he allegedly tried to burn down their house in 1987. What? He tried to burn down the house in 1987. Allegedly. Tried to, oh, well, damn. Now, I have never, um, never lost a parent. Um, I'm very fortunate. I'm very blessed to have, um, to still have both my parents around. So I, I know that Nikki is definitely going, if she was close to her dad in any way, shape or form, she's definitely going through it. It got to be a hard thing to lose one of your parents. And even though you grow up your whole life and you know, eventually, you know, you are going to lose them because every parent wants their child to outlive them. Every parent that's worked it down. So, you know, you grow up and you, you know, you know, you may think about it here and there, but it never really hits you. I'm sure until they're actually gone. And when your parent is killed like this and it's not from natural causes and it's because somebody wanted to do a hit and run and literally hit this man and didn't stop to check on him. I think it all just goes to the point of the madness that I be the madness that I'll be speaking on. We have so many people out here in the world that just care about themselves. Now, some people have a conscience. Some people can't just hit a person in the middle of the street and keep driving. A lot of people would have hit a person in the middle of the street and they got to stop. They got to get out. They got to see if this person's okay. You know, and it tears them up inside. Like if that person ends up dying because they actually have a conscience, they're not infected with the madness. They're not an evil demonic soul. But when you are evil demonic soul, when you have no heart, when you're a true, true definition of a horrible, horrible human being, then you can go. You can go hit somebody in the middle of the street and not even stop. Hit them like they're just a dog. 
like they're just an animal. You know, some people in this world, they treat, you know, they treat animals better than they treat people. You know, they, they like, hey, listen, animals are filled with love. People are filled with hate. People are filled with anger. People are filled with jealousy and envy. It's probably going to be a while before she comments on this. It's probably going to be, it's probably going to be a very long time. Wow. Wow. This is sad. So if you lost a parent, just know that, you know, you got to try your best to be strong. Got to try your best to continue pushing in life. Because I'm sure that's what your parents would have wanted. So once again, you know, to Nicki Minaj and her family. Rest in peace to Robert Minaj. You know, it's crazy. Now we're going to transition to our last story here. And this is a Florida woman. 